So, uh, how much will Miss Miller be needing today? 100, 200. Knock it off, Darren, just give me some money. All right, all right. Bank it down's only too happy to oblige. <laughs> Open 24 7 with a person on the end of the phone, not a machine. Darren, dummy, breakfast! I'll quickly take some. Rose, I'm out of batteries, love. I'll get some on my way back from the hospital. You're going back, are you? Yeah, well, ain't like Nora gets many other visitors, is it? Well, if you say so, I'll stab for me, Mum. Tell him I'm wearing his perfume. Well, why don't you come with me? Well, I would, but I was going to go and see if there's any work going at the Vic. Darren, that is disgusting. <laughs> get away. What's the matter with you, mate? You get as bad as a dog. Hot. I'm hungry. She's hogging the milk. Yeah, well, it's utensils what separates man from beast. Now eat your food properly. This place is like a bomb's it. I want it cleared up. And that includes your room, Darren. It smells like something's died up there. Surely that horrible person yeah, just do that it, whole please. Place. I like it. I'm dawn. And don't spray it near Alicia, because you're going to poison her. Oh, don't be stupid. It's only perfume. It's toxic. Can you not keep it down? They started it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not a point, though. Just shut up! I love you! Oh, I can't have you under my feet all the time. Go to the shops, anything. Just get out and give me some peace and quiet, will you? Go on, kids. <coughs> Do you want me to do the washing up for you? For me? Oh, it's mine by rights, is it? Sorry. I suppose I'd better take Lisa in the other room and watch a video or something. I suppose you better, yeah. Do you really think getting this for Nora will get Mum back on our side? Yeah, she'd be well chuffed. Right, I'm going to go home and drop some of this money off. Love you than me, but she's still sticking her face out. See, I don't reckon that's going to be a problem anymore. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <sighs> Is that true, Darren? Yeah. Well, get down there. I want to work. All right, in a minute. No, not in a minute. Now. Don't chew him out too badly, love. Well, we can't just turn a blind eye to it. Well, I think we should count it as a blessing. The lad's done us a favour, in my opinion. You took it, didn't you? Took what? I don't even know what you're on about. Don't lie to a son. You're only gonna make it worse for yourself in the long run. I ain't done nothing. I ain't asking you again, Darren. All right, it was a few weeks ago. Hey? Well, he takes for a couple of mugs or something. Because she's only just got it. What? Dawn's perfume. I know it reeks and all that, but it was her Christmas present from Michael. You don't go and nick it. Well, I didn't. You just said you did. I was confused. I ain't seen it since you sent me out in the morning. If you're lying to us, I'll string you up. No, honestly, I'm not. I ain't touched it. Yeah? What's in the bag? Well, oh, you said you was going to see Nora this morning, so me and Dem's got this to give to her. Oh, Darren, you didn't have to get this. Well, it was only a fiver. I got it cheap in the cell. Got it with my Christmas bonus off Bill. Oh, he don't seem the type to give handouts, does he? Anyway, that was your money. I'll give it back to you, love. No, it's all right. It's only money. You're a good boy, aren't you? <laughs> but if I find out you have had Dawn's perfume, I'll have your guts for garters. Yeah, of course. Yeah. See? Good kids, really, aren't they? Dems, when you get this message, give me a call back and try to come back here as soon as you can. All right. Where have you put that money, you cat? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you like this, by the way? It was very expensive. I should thank you, really. If you hadn't nicked my perfume, I'd never have gone looking. Tell us where you've put that money, Dawn. So, where did it come from? And don't try telling me you got it selling fish and chips. We found it. It's Jake's. Yeah, and you don't know we've got it either. Oh, poor bloke. Oh, well, it's ours now, then, isn't it? Finders keepers. What, well, ours? Your money's got nothing to do with you. Well, now I'm in on the secret, I've got to have a share. There's a lot a girl could do with that sort of cash. That money's mine and Dems. Do you think Mum would see it like that if I told her about it? <sighs> right, that's sorted then. I'll find a new hiding place and we'll split it three ways. Said, but with my money. Our money. All right, but you've got to be careful. Oh, listen to yourself. When did you turn middle-aged? No, honestly, you know, people get suspicious, someone smell a rat, Jake will get wind of it. Well, do you know what? I won't be shopping at Jake's Market still. From now on, it's designer labels for me. Got our hands on the money. She's going to be spending like there's no tomorrow. But we've got to do something, Darren. 
Oh, well, she's just going to waste a lot. Full breakfasts, extra sausage, extra beans. Do you want tomato or brown sauce? Both, please. Oh, OK. We might as well go round Jake's and hand the money back. She's flaunting it. Do you know she's going on about designer labels? Yeah, I mean shoes. Shoes? She's got plenty. She's had her eye on a pair. Right tight number, you know. Three inch heels and everything. Well, hopefully she'll fall off and break her leg. Charming. Oh, don't worry, Jane. It's no one nice. Only Dawn. Ah, brotherly love, eh? <laughs> Look who I found on the doorstep. I'm not selling double glazing, honest. <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah. I just call round to see if Dawn would like to come to lunch for me. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, that's nice. Right. I'll call back for you and I'll see you later. I'll come out with you. I took it in. What you said. I know I've not been much of a dad. I want to make it up to her. Yeah, well, it means a lot to her. Ta da. Just got a few things in the sales. Oh. Um, Dawn, you will be careful in case this all goes wrong and then you're going to have to. What? Well, you know, it, it's lovely that you got your dad around, but, but he might move on again. No, and he then... won't. He might go abroad again. Are you trying to ruin this for me? No. At least he hasn't spent his life stuck in a chair watching telly. I just don't want you to get hurt. I'm not going to. It's our money that you'll find a way. So you go spend some. I won't be whinging about it. There's loads. By the way, you're spending. I'm lighting up, will you? What? 80 quid shoes and 20 quid no nails, yeah? Yeah, you've been paid already, Dawn. No. Dad treated me. Oh, that's good of him. Yeah, but don't say anything about it in front of him, all right? He's coming in once he's parked. Oh. <laughs> it's attention she needs, not presents. Yeah. Looks like he's making the effort, though, doesn't it? I've invited Dad to stay for tea. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Look, it's not a problem. I'll, I'll see you later. Mum, I want my dad to have tea with us. Oh, oh yeah, that would be um, really nice. Uh, the thing is, we're, um, we're only having a beans and mash. Well, let's get spud bashing then. No, it's all right. You, you sit down. I'll do all that. <laughs> well, why should you? You sit down. I'll rope some help in. Good idea, Dad. Darren! Oh. And you, Dems. And you, Keith. You can help. What about you? Well, don't you want a chip and ale? Demi, you work hard enough looking after that adorable baby and fingernails do not grow on trees. Yeah, my favourite TV programme starts in a minute, so... What do you want? It's you and me, Darren. We're doing tea tonight. He said... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll do that. No, 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 you sit down. It's all in hands. There we go. Hey, cheers. Thank you. Right, got any salt? Yeah, bring it. No, no, don't budge. There we go, sir. You are a gentleman. <laughs> it was good of you to treat Dawn the way you did today. Well, I didn't. She took me out to lunch. She wouldn't let me pay, which is why I wanted to do my bit right now. Oh. Oh, she's rolling it now. <laughs> she's got a new job at the Vic. Mm. I thought you said you ain't been paid yet. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, well, they've given me an advance. In fact, I better got off there soon. Well, you haven't had time to eat properly, yeah? It's all right. All right, about me. But Mum's right, Dad. I had a great day, thank you. My pleasure. Very good of you, mate. I'm just making up for lost time. I think I've got a lot of making up to do. 